for the victory lap though. The right cross landed by Nick Webb. And remember of his 13 victories. Oh, left hook. He's after a right uppercut, causes Danny Whitaker to wobble and wilt down to the canvas. He appears completely discombobulated. He's beaten the count, but his legs are completely gone. There it is, the uppercut before it was a great shot as well. And it just took everything out of Danny's legs, hadn't it? It got up, he's on Rocky Legs, and it was a great call by the referee. Definitely, I think Webb was physically the bigger guy, the stronger guy in the two. And I think he's just come with a nice shot around the chin. Graham Dennis has been able to land a lot of good jabs, but mainly he's been Joe Hearn who's helped him because he's so far from heavy. What a right hand on the counter from Graham Dennis, and it causes Joe Hearn to sink down to a knee. Referee Mark Bates holding the mandatory eight count. Less than 30 seconds to go in the round, and the referee has seen it up. And it was a counter right hand over the top of that front foot heavy jab. He leans in, I said earlier in the fight, he keeps leaning in with that jab, and it was only a matter of time before this right hand was able to finally land. You end up paying for it when you fall in this way with your jab constantly. And Peters is picking his punches with terrific accuracy. And Peters. Oh, that's a terrific right hand. Good body left shot. hook to the body again, and he's crumpled into the canvas for the second time. Well, Georgie Bacon on the canvas in a not need posture of pain, and I don't think he's going to beat the count. It is all over. Kieran McCann counts out Georgie Bacon, and Shaka Peters is through to the final of Ultimate Boxer 2. After a devastating display of accurate punch picking, this six foot six light heavyweight sunk in some devastating left hooks to the body, and they proved to be the undoing of Georgie Bacon. He's not there exactly. Great point, Bunty. And this guy's still trying to trick. Still trying, of course he is. Oh, big shot by Marco. That's all over. Yeah. Wow. What a shot. That was a good statement and a good finish and a good stoppage. His legs are betrayed. Yeah, and he's going down easily because he's still hurt. There's Great a nice there. sharp hook. And you see the punch selection by Marco. Watch here. Big hook there. Punch selection really nice on the inside. Upper cuts, hooks. There are a lot of boxers in Britain at the moment who are not returning calls from Sam Jones and from Ben Shalom and everybody here at Boxer. That was counted immediately by Peters. High quality boxing. In this quarter final, and a left room combination from Shaka Peters. Here, the first knockdown, the hook right hand. I, I mentioned that in the first fight, in the first round, that, that whipping hook that he throws, it's, it's used as a decoy. If the hook is used as a decoy to get your eyes to look to the side, to look at the peripheral vision so you don't... Keep in mind, McLeod had a very, very hard-paced fight with Kremner. Not this, not that, uh... Oh, champion! And the ultimate boxer outsider is on the brink of the final! There. Then you, let's see if this is the second knockdown. Oh, there it is. Hook. Another big hook there. The crowd in the arena have just seen that. Up close as well on the big screen. And they'll see it again right now. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute and 15 seconds. And your jab. And as a taller man, he probably should land, look, focus on one on the jab. And he may set up the right hand. And you see Lynn Jones comes out, trying to listen to the call. Oh, oh, right hand over the top of that jab. Devastating right hand from the punching preacher, Derek Osaze, sending Taylin Jones to the canvas with a pile driving overhand right. Oh, Sazi slips the first one. You see, a, you see a second jab thrown by Lynn Jones, and then that's where the right hand gets timed over the top. Yeah. He's not gonna quit, but sometimes, I don't know, sometimes boxers need to be protected from themselves. Oh, the body shot, oh my God. Great body that shot, straight down the middle, that's enough. We have a winner, Paulie, we have a winner. Let's have a look at the finishes here. Oh, there's a That's body a shot. Oh, devastating. Bunty, I'll tell you, he, he breezed through this tournament. Oh. Joel McIntyre now, so experienced over 10 rounds. Put him out. That's the duration out. over yeah. which he fought for the right. Southern Area title, which he won the English title. So, oh, what a right hand! And he has short-circuited Donald Church. With the lead left hand, it was Chambers who got through first. Oh. On that occasion, what a left hand! And Chambers is down and looks as though he is out. Referee Mark Lyson is tolling the count, but has waved it off. A thunderbolt of a left hook from the Cola Wall has seen him crowned as the ultimate boxer four champion. And Damian Chambers is being tended to on the canvas.
You have to hope that he is okay. 